We will get to those stories and more, but we will start with the Buffalo Catholic Diocese. It has settled a nearly two-year-old lawsuit filed by the state attorney general's office over how it previously handled priests accused of abuse. The settlement requires the diocese to follow new steps meant to protect individuals from future abuse. With a new diocesan official in charge of child protection policy. That person's job will be to oversee priests with substantiated claims of abuse against them and advise current Bishop Michael Fisher on abuse related matters. An independent auditor approved by the Attorney General's office will also review the diocese's procedures each of the next five years and publish a report publicly to make sure they're in compliance. Ultimately, it's this that matters and offers us the best, if only, chance to regain the credibility that has been broken or lost. There is, in fact, nothing we can say to ease the long-lasting pain of those who have suffered abuse at the hands of those who presented themselves as ministers of God. For their role in the mishandling of priests accused of abuse and hiding it, former Bishop Richard Malone and former Auxiliary Bishop Edward Grosch will be barred from serving in a fiduciary role for any New York nonprofit. Their spiritual work in the Catholic Church, however, will not be impacted as that is dictated by the Pope.